Hello, I'm Vince with J.R. Smith and today I wanted to go over trench drain and some of the questions we need to answer for when you're actually picking or specifying a trench drain so we can actually get you the right product for your application. Uh, one of the questions we need to answer is basically the fluid or the convenience of fluid the going into the trench, whether it be water or some type of chemical or if it's the, the degree of temperature of it, this will help us actually clarify which trench we need to select, select from. The other one that we need to know is basically how much fluid is going in there so we can specify the width of it and maybe the depth of it to be able to pick up um, the, the cubic feet that you might need to, for your drainage. And the last one that we will need to select it is, is basically what's going over the trench, what's on top of it, just so that we can select the right um, grade classification for the trench so we got the right weight so it won't fail and then on top of it if there's an ADA um, um, need or a heel proof need for that particular trench drain. I uh, just wanted to actually show you our trench drain just a little bit. We go all the way from the polymer concrete trench drain, which I don't have listed here, to our, our polypropylene trench drain, which comes in 9 foot 8 inch lengths, which is great for production runs, to where we actually have also uh, um, our stainless custom. This is a custom stainless grate that we have, so we have the capabilities of meeting your needs. Um, just all you have to do is ask. Uh, this one is one of our shower trench drains that we did a custom side outlet for. And then another box here that we had, which is a custom box that we did um, for an application of a roof drain and overflow drain in actually one stainless steel box. So what it does is help on your penetrations and also you don't have to float the concrete floor um, you know, two inches to get a overflow drain into the application scenario. So it solves a lot, um, a lot of problems that you face. So at J.R. Smith, we, can, we have the customization to do whatever your needs might need, need to be done. Just please, you know, contact your local, regional, or, or representative in the area, and they can help you out. Uh, one other item I wanted to go above is any um, trench drain above the ground floor applications should always have a waterproofing flange and membrane to it, or at least a waterproofing flange. Um, just to pick up that nuisance water because concrete will separate and crack away from the trench drain. And if we have at least a waterproofing flange, which this is a flange without a membrane clamp on it, um, and then wheat poles, which right here will do it. So if we had the concrete pulled up and it separated a little bit, we'd be able to pick up that little bit of nuisance water in one of our wheat poles right here, and it just goes into the trench drain out, and it doesn't hit your downstairs floor levels. We have a lot of um, applications and experience at this, so any of your needs you need on any pools, um, you know, on top floors or above in the decking, you know, that we don't want to take a chance of have water uh, migrate through and down, um, and protect the down the lower floors. So if you would, please just reach out to us. We'll help you the best that we can. And we appreciate your time. And thank you very much. And have a great day. Bye-bye.